Hey guys, welcome to Common Sense Outdoors. Quick little tip, survival or whatnot, camping, a way to catch crawdads without getting wet. If you can see crawdads out in the water, maybe maybe the water's too cold, it's too cold out to get in the water. You want to be able to catch those crawdads. What I have here is about a seven and a half, eight foot tall stick. Any stick you can find, if you could find a Oh, bump the camera. If you can find a nice willow branch or something that long, it would work perfect. But any stick that you can get. This is a nice dry stick, so I'm hoping we can split it okay. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is take the tip of it. Try to split it in half. And then I'm going to take another stick, slide it down that split to keep it open, and tie it off. Just gonna use up what cordage I have. Bring it back to my tag for my cinch knot. Tie a square knot. Now essentially what we have is a pair of fingers. If we slide this over a crawdad, at some point the crawdad is going to get pinched between these and it should hold them there. So I'm going to get out of the way and I'm going to have my nephew, nephew Anthony here see if he can catch a crawdad out of the water.
the gist of the thing is, if you reach down there and help it. I had to help it because you hit it too big. Let's see you get another one. Well, you gotta fold it. I put another string in there. You think it's too wide? Yes. As soon as when you can catch that one. No, I think that other side is new. Alright, he thinks it's too wide. So we'll just shorten it down a little bit. Problem he's having right here is this is a rocky bottom. So the sticks aren't sinking in. If it was a nice muddy bottom, this is, this would work fine. See any more? No, the bear won't sit in that plane. I think the rocks are gone. Put a little bit of a point so it'll help sink into the water bottom, pond bottom, river bottom, lake bottom. Might help a little bit. The idea is not to stab them, though. Or crush them. You can find another one yet? Another thing you can do with the stick is turn the rocks over to look for them. There, maybe you can catch this one again. I'm sitting out there a little further. She doesn't want to go. Perfect. So the sticks were just long for the uh, for the rockiness of the bottom here, but <coughs> as you can see, we didn't have to get wet. So if it was cold or whatnot, or if the water was cold, we just didn't want to get wet to begin with and catch the crawdads that we can see without getting in the water. Quick little tip. Thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you for your views, your likes, your comments, and your support. We'll see you in the next video.